Welcome to Lesson 57, our next exercise tutorial. Let's begin by activating the polyline command. I'll create a line about 15 units long. Another line. Now right-click and close to create a triangle. Next, let's go to the Parametric tab. I'm going to apply an equal constraint to all three lines. Later on, I'm going to apply a fillet to the three corners. As you may remember, what will happen is that my equal relation will be deleted. So, if you want to keep the equal relation, apply the fillet first and then the equal relation subsequently. Let's go ahead and select the equal relation. Select these two lines. Let's activate the equal constraint again and select the two lines to which we'll apply it. Lastly, let's apply a horizontal constraint to the bottom line. Now let's return to the Home tab. I'm going to activate the Fillet command. Instead of selecting an edge first, I'll right-click and select Radius. Enter two units. Press Enter. Now select the first and second lines to fill it. Let's activate the Fillet command again. Again, select our first and second lines. And one more fillet, first line, second line. By the way, notice that since my radius was already set to two units, I was able to skip that step. Let's go down to the status bar and toggle ortho mode on. And let's activate the line command. The line will originate from the center of the fillet's arc. The length of the line is not important. Let's right click and enter to close the tool. Now let's activate the offset. Let's offset the line on both sides by one unit. Select the object to offset, now the direction of offset, and again the object to offset and the direction of offset. Right click and enter to close the tool. My next step is to create an arc. Let's expand the arc tool and use the start, center, end method. Place my first point, my second point, and the third point. Of course, we could have also used a circle here. Let me delete the arc. Place a circle, center point on the middle line, and snap here. Now let's activate the Trim command. Press Enter to select the All option. And let's just left-click to engage in trimming. Now for this last line, AutoCAD can't trim it, so I'm going to right-click and select Erase. Now select the line and right-click to execute. Now I need to find the center of my triangle. Let's use a three-point circle to do so. Place my first point, second point, and my third point. Let's activate the Polar Array command now. First, I select the objects to include in the array. And the center point of the array next. The number of items, let's say 3, press Enter. And the angle, 360 degrees, press Enter. Press Escape to exit the array command. Let's activate the Trim tool and press Enter to engage the Trim All method. And we'll left-click to trim our geometry. Press Escape to exit the tool. Now, in order to create a solid, I need a closed profile. To create a closed profile, what I've got to do is explode the array. Let's activate the Explode command. Select the Object to Explode next. Right-click to finish the selection and to execute the explosion. Now we've got individual segments. OK, let's go to the Modify panel. Activate the Edit Polyline tool. Let's right click and scroll down to Multiple. We'll do a window selection. Let's shift and unselect that circle. By the way, we don't have to unselect the circle. AutoCAD will still be able to create the closed profile anyway. Let's right click to finish our selection. Do we want to convert to polyline? Type Y for yes and press Enter. Now from this list of options, let's select Join. Enter Fuzz Distance, 0, press Enter, and Escape to exit the tool. And now we've got a closed profile. Let's take a home view, and we're ready to create an extrusion. Activate the Extrude command. Select the object to extrude. Right-click and Enter to finish the selection. Now the height of the extrusion, let's say one unit, and press Enter. Next, I'm going to find the center of the top face. I can create another circle, or I can reuse the existing construction circle. 
Let's activate 3D Move. And let's select my circle. Right click, select the base point, and let's move in the positive Z direction. I can specify the distance of one unit, or I can snap to a point on the top face. OK, let's create a hole. We'll start with a cylinder on the top face. Let's awaken the center of the circle. Snap there. Radius, two units. Press Enter to accept. And the height, let's say two units. Enter. And here's our cylinder. Now let's select the circle. Right click, isolate, hide objects. Next, we need to combine these solids. Combine solid, select the cylinder, select the base. Right click to execute, and now we have a single solid. Next, I need to create a hole originating from the top of the cylinder. The radius is going to be 1.5 units. Enter. And the length of the extrusion doesn't matter, it just has to go through the entire solid. To complete the hole, we'll use the solid subtract command. Select the solid to subtract from, right click, next the solid to subtract, and right click again to execute the subtract operation. OK, let's apply some fillets. I've just activated the fillet command and selected an edge to fillet. The radius will be 0.2, press enter. Let's select this edge as well, and this edge, and this edge down here. Press enter to accept. Let's apply one more fillet. The radius will be 0.1 units. Press Enter. And let's select the edges to which we'll apply the fillet. Almost done. Let's press Enter to accept and apply. Now, as you see, we're in 2D wireframe viewing mode. Let's switch to 3D realistic viewing mode. And here is our finished part. And this concludes our second exercise lesson.